Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrift G Divas, and this is highly requested, and I promised it was coming. This is the video showcasing all of the things I decided to keep and bring home with me from my grandmother's estate sale. The first thing I decided to bring home was this seven and a half foot Christmas tree, and I'm very happy about it because it's much thinner than my super wide tree that I have right now, so it's gonna work really well in the space. The next thing I brought home was this adorable Rubbermaid cooler. The color combination just pulled me in and I knew I had to bring it home and not sell it. I love this thing. The next thing I grabbed was this wooden CD rack because I actually needed another one. So this is perfect. Another thing that screamed to me was this tiny little wooden A-frame ladder. And I also brought home this Tupperware cake carrier. It's in perfect condition, no cracks. And I also brought home my grandmother's Lazy Susan, which I'm so happy to give it a second life. And here it is in my cabinet and it's being put to very good use. The next thing was this children's Bible that really screamed to me and it's from like 19... 65 I believe and then I looked inside and I saw that it was actually given to my stepfather and he was going to get rid of it but it's my son's now and another thing that I know my grandmother is smiling about right now is I brought home all of her sprinkles and cookie decorations then I saw this watering can and I knew it had to come home with me I needed one anyway but this is vintage and it's just absolutely breathtaking. Another thing is this: these metal tablecloth clamps. These looked vintage as well, and they don't make them like that anymore. I screamed at the top of my lungs when I found this, and my mom was like, shh, what is wrong with you? I don't know why there was a shirt tails ornament there. If anybody knows me at all, shirt tails was my favorite show of all time growing up, and this ornament was meant to be mine. The most amazing part of it all is that not that many people even know about this show so it's just insane to me then this metal tray screamed to me because the silhouette reminds me 100 percent of me and little man baking so it's already up on my wall the next thing is this little beaded and sequence vintage coin purse that came home with me and has a new life now i also found this beautiful shell sequenced and beaded Christmas ornament and then this was still in its box it is this little vintage blow molded candle holder and then I actually dropped it and one of the angels fell off and I almost cried but I'm going to glue that back together and give it a second life Next, she had this vintage Lucite shell napkin holder. Now, from the beginning, I priced it at $10 and told my stepfather, if nobody buys it, I am bringing this home. And I think that was priced very fair and uh, nobody bought it. So it is now mine. Next, I found this little 1959 Remember When book. And that's the year my uncle was born. So I brought that home to give him for his birthday. And there were a couple of more books um, you know, pretty old ones that grabbed my attention. So the first one is Lassie and the Cub Scout that I brought home for Little Man. And if we take a peek, that's in Roman numerals, but that's the year on that. Then this fossil book I brought home for Little Man. You'll see why in a minute. The Night Before Christmas, I knew I also had to bring home. And there's the uh, copyright on that too. whatever that is <laughs> and then I found this Casey the utterly impossible horse which I feel like I remember reading when I was younger and the copyright on this one is 1960 and then we have the secret language And the copyright on this one is also 1960. Then we have the Bennett Surfs, Curfs Book of Riddles. And this also has a copyright a date of 1960 on here. 
and then this is a modern book but i found this book about sharks and it also has two laminated kind of like info sheets included in it so i brought this home for little man as well because i know he's gonna love it and then i brought back these three christmas boxes but i will be using them as actual boxes i think rather than decoration now we are moving on to what i like to refer to as the bittersweet portion of today's presentation so this is the pyrex butter print set which was um out from 1957 to 1968 and if you know then you know so some of these pieces uh, were not cared for and were put through the dishwasher but some are in pretty decent condition all i knew when i first laid eyes on them was that they were coming home with me and i was not going to sell them so now they are home with me and part of my own personal collection for sure so now they can begin their second leg of life in my home. Next, I have another Pyrex piece here, this covered dish. There are two more pieces that go with this. I'll show you in just a minute. And they are the pieces that I talked about in the vlog that I doubled over in pain and screamed. And my mom laughed at me. We'll get to those. And then I found this red handle that might be Bakelite. I'm not sure. Um but I found this red handle um, pastry blender, so I brought that home. Uh, and then I found this uh, automatic stapler by Swingline, so I brought that home with me as well. Next, I found this a little powdered sugar shaker, so I brought that home with me. And what else do we have in here? Oh, I found this Pyrex uh, one cup glass measuring cup and I don't have the one cup so I brought that home and then this glass martini stirrer so I brought that home for one of my pitchers these little bamboo tongs I've actually always wanted those for cooking so I grabbed those it's cool to like flip things you know in the pan and then this uh, honey honey I can't remember what they're called <laughs> honey picker uppers so I brought that and then this little, a tiny, little tiny coffee pot. We make Greek coffee in these made in Poland. So I brought that home. It was just too cute to leave behind. And then I found these three little spreaders. They look super cute to me and kind of vintage. So they're home with me. Then this is my stepfather's collection of shark teeth from all of his travels. So, you know, I brought that home for little man. Can you believe he didn't want them, my stepfather? one more pyrex bowl with a different pattern and here we go this is the part that when i saw them in the cabinet i doubled over and screamed in pain and my mom laughed at me look at these that go with the yellow one look at the damage to these folks friends don't let friends put pyrex in the dishwasher okay but whatever whatever i brought them home i still love them and there are their glass lids in there too. So adorable. So such a shame. So this is also a part of the bittersweet segment of today's broadcast. And then the piece de la resistance. If you ask me, this is the Pyrex Golden Hearts casserole dish. Look at this. And I swear it's just like a design flaw because the stand kind of scratches it up a little bit you know but it has the original stand you put some little candles in there or whatever to keep it warm and here's its glass lid absolutely beautiful and in wonderful shape this never went in the dishwasher thank goodness and it now has its happy place in my personal collection once again if you know you know now this next item might seem silly but I'm finding that regular light bulbs are harder and harder to find. So I saw those and I grabbed them because everybody was buying everything anyway. And then uh, I also found this bottle of Roundup. I told my husband, I said, just be careful because I'm pretty sure it causes cancer. Then I saw Mr. Metal, a metal cleaner. So I brought that home for some of my stuff. And uh, this huge pack of 
Deep Woods Off Wipes. So that's awesome. Grab that too. These I, I had to bring home. So this is The Truth About Flying Saucers. And there's another um, <clears throat> book right here I'll show you in a second. But what, why I really had to get it is because look at the year here. Okay, let's find the year. 1956, okay? Now, you know what was going on with UFOs and things like that in the early 50s. So I, I really wanted to bring, and this one too, flying saucers from outer space so I, I really wanted to bring these home and give them a read just because of the time frame look at that u.s marine corps retired um just because of the time frame in which they were written 53 i feel like this is going to be an amazing read next i found this uh portable cassette recorder i brought this home for myself to use in my office i know everybody's like uh technology and digital and all that the only but no i like original stuff so then I found this huge, thick, and heavy pig cutting board, and that was just meant, meant to come home with me. And to my amazement, I found this set of four placemats in my grandmother's house. So we had uh, more in common than I think, so I brought those home with me as well. Then, uh, what do we have here? This, I just, th this intrigued me too. This little uh, covered pan. I just thought that was really cool. I think my stepfather said she used to use it for like freezer cakes or whatever. Now, this is my stepfather's collection of fossils. They used to have a lake house on Lake Canandaigua. And these are just things that he has collected throughout the years. So if you remember the book previously, I brought these home for Little Man as well as the book. And my stepfather had no interest in keeping them. Somebody come get this man, please. I told him, no way are we selling these. I am bringing these home to Little Man and they will stay in our family forever. So that's the coolest thing. Coolest, coolest thing ever. Yeah, and he was just going to get rid of them. Anyway. A few more things I know that my grandmother's going to be smiling about. Um, I brought home her sewing scissors. They were just absolutely beautiful to me. Um, somewhere in here, I also brought home her hot glue gun as well. But I found this Monopoly New York City edition, and I thought that was really cool. So I didn't want to sell that one either. A few more things from my grandfather's office. I found this really cool set. It's uh, it's a matching set with like the uh, clipboard and then the like portfolio. But I thought that was cool because they match like that. And then I also found this leather kind of case and it's uh, it holds legal size folders. So I thought that was perfect for me too. So I brought that home for me to use and then some envelopes and stuff like that. You know, they were like brand new. So then some vinyl I decided to keep. We got Rick James. I'm so shocked I found this in my aunt's records, like with some of these things. Xanadu soundtrack, how can you go wrong? And then um, this is still wrapped. Black Sabbath, Born Again. And... This Beatles album, 1967 through 1970. Then if you saw the patterns, there was one that I brought home for myself. This is a Cabbage Patch Kids pattern. How cool. I don't sew, but I just wanted that. Then I found this Monkeys cassette tape, and I will be mailing that to one of my friends. So I was happy to find that too. Then in here, we have this gorgeous silver kind of a rounded coffee urn if I can show you this beautiful beautiful coffee urn I have a vintage one right now too it's like that like uh 60s 70s mustard type color um but I might replace replace it with this one this is like a fancier one if you can see in there so I brought that home it's got a handle and you can tell it's vintage if I can show you the cord hold on one second the plug here it is so you can definitely tell it's a it's older for sure but i love that so i brought that home and then <laughs> this little tiny tupperware i think it's got uh, safety pins in it but i just i loved the little tupperware so i brought that home with me too as well as this old scotch can for cellophane tape my grandmother had like, uh, you know, needles and sewing stuff in there, but I just emptied it out and brought the can with me. Um, now, this is one of those state quarter 
maps and it's all full and I used to actually have one and I have no idea where it went so I, I took this one then I brought home the record player here's a fireproof safe that I actually needed to do wills in my office here is the receiver for the record player and the two speakers that were with it I also brought home one of my grandfather's vintage file drawers for my office because I fell in love with this one it looked to be the oldest one he had, so I had to bring this one home with me from my office. Now, the next few items I'm going to show you, I had to do some uh, improvising on because my mom was supposed to bring them home for me, and I believe that they are still up there with the things that she has not brought back yet because they have to make another trip up there. So here we go. I did grab this uranium glass vase right away that was the first first item that i wanted and then there's some really amazing teacups in here some with really great values and things like that so i didn't want to sell those and i brought home some of those for my personal collection as well next there was this gold plated state quarter set and um set of 56 and in this beautiful wooden collector's box and my mom wanted to bring that home to keep for little man next there was also this washington mint quarter pound giant silver eagle coin it's 0.999 silver so my mom also wanted to bring this home and keep it for little man for the future so that is it, guys. That is the uh, what I kept from the estate sale video. Hope you enjoyed. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.